Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we have a empties. It's been a long time. I still don't have that much stuff because I've been like in between my condo and the house that I'm in now. And yeah, I don't have a lot of makeup empties. So if that's what you were expecting, then sorry. I don't have much makeup empties, but I have a lot of like hair care and body care type stuff so if you're into that then keep watching. I'm just gonna pull from my uh, basket, well bag. <laughs> I'm gonna pull from the bag randomly so yeah let's just go. Um, the first thing that's like about to fall on the floor is this Dr. Teal's Foaming Bath with Pure Epsom Salt. Um, this is the coconut oil one. This is like the best bubble bath I've ever used. I think this is my second bottle. Um, not of the coconut oil one. I, I don't remember what I had last time. But uh, this is amazing. So yeah, there's Epsom salt like in the formula. And this one I felt like it actually did moisturize and soften like it says. And this is really cheap. You can get it... I think I've seen it like in the grocery store even, or the drugstore, at Walmart, yeah. So I'm definitely going to repurchase this. I don't know if I'll get the coconut oil one again, even though I really liked it, but um, I just want to try some other kind. So yeah, I recommend that bubble bath. Then I have a toothpaste. If you've been watching my other empties videos you know like my journey of the toothpaste so I'm trying to find like a more natural kind of toothpaste so I tried this one this is the Thieves Aroma Bright um, with peppermint and spearmint essential oils so I actually really did like this one it kind of has like you know those toothpaste with like baking soda mixed in it kind of had a little bit of that taste which is not like my favorite but i feel like this really cleaned my teeth really well the only thing is it didn't whiten them at all so i did repurchase this but the whitening version i don't know how it's working so far i feel like my teeth aren't that white because i do drink a lot of like tea and coffee which i always mention in these videos but yeah so that's the story on that one i guess i'll just keep using the whitening one and if it doesn't work i will have to go back to like a whitening toothpaste because i just prefer that for myself um, I have another Secret pH Balanced Unscented Deodorant. Um, another journey of mine is trying to find a natural deodorant. So I tried like a million of them and I always smell worse I find than I do like even without deodorant. So I usually go back to this one. Uh, I get the unscented one because I feel like when there's too much fragrance in a deodorant, I get a reaction. So this has been like the best one for me so far, but I still am not giving up on natural deodorant. I actually have a another Young Living, well, the toothpaste was Young Living, but I have a Young Living deodorant, which is not really working <laughs> for me either. I really like the smell of it, but it's not, uh, yeah it's not helping me smell my best let's just say that then I have a verb hydrating conditioner um, so in my last empties I had the shampoo of this I'm pretty sure and I mentioned that I don't find this is actually hydrating at least not for my hair um, I did use the whole thing and well, there's still a bit in there, but it's one of those packages where, like, it's impossible to get it out. And I did put the rest in my little travel size because I have the travel size of this shampoo and conditioner, too. Um, but like I said, I don't find them hydrating enough, so I'm not going to repurchase it. I'll just use up the little minis. 
But yeah, I guess maybe you would like this if you have really fine hair and you still want something hydrating but something that won't weigh it down, then maybe you would like this. And this is one of like the cheaper brands at Sephora. I think this is, I want to say it's 18 but I don't remember if that's the US price. But either way, it's one of the least expensive hair care brands at Sephora. So if you want to try it, I mean, it's not going to be super expensive for you. But I also don't love the smell of it. I feel like it's very soap smelling. Um, I have a package of the Simple Compostable Cleansing Wipes. I really liked these. Um, I guess it's just like... A more sustainable version of regular wipes because you can compost them but I actually found like they did really remove makeup really well and they're good for sensitive skin yeah it even says they remove waterproof mascara I don't use waterproof mascara so I can't say for sure but I did really like these but I'm not buying wipes anymore so I won't repurchase them for now even though they are, they are compostable, I don't compost, so I don't know. Is that good still? <laughs> I should probably figure that out, but anyway. Oh, I do have some oils in here, so I'll do those first. If you're really like not into essential oils, I know some people like hate them, <laughs> so you can skip ahead, but I do have four. I don't know if there's more, but right here I can see that I have four essential oils. So I have peppermint, lavender, lemon, and purification. So yeah, these are like some of my most used oils, lemon, lavender, and peppermint. And you can diffuse the three together and it smells really nice too. But I also use them like for personal care products, like in the bath, um... Where else did I use this? I made like essential oil roll-ons, so that's why I used these ones up. And I actually almost have another lemon used up. I use lemon like all the time for just like everything. For cleaning, mm -hmm. diffusing, all kinds of stuff. And this purification one, I use this up because I make my own like anti... What do you call it? kind of like a natural Lysol. Um, it just helps like to kill bacteria and well I shouldn't say that because I don't know if that's a fact but it just smells really good and yeah it kills like any bad odors. That's more what I meant to say so that's how I used up this purification one. Does this still smell? Yeah it smells really good too on its own and I think I put this in a homemade bug spray as well. Um, what's even in this? I don't know. It smells good. It smells very herbal. Then I have a Pixie Glow Tonic. This is 5% glycolic acid exfoliating toner. Um, I'm not repurchasing this because I feel like it was a little too strong for my skin. I did use up the whole thing and I liked how like it made my skin look but I don't like miss it from my routine so yeah and I do think it maybe was a little too harsh but a lot of people really like this um, if you're looking for I was gonna say cheaper but Pixie is really not that cheap at least not in Canada. They have it at the drugstore, at least at, um, at Shoppers, but I think this is like 30 something dollars for the, um, how many mLs is this? 250 mL, so I don't know. And it's one of these kind of packages where there's like a tiny hole, so you have to use it with a cotton pad or something like that, so yeah. Not repurchasing this yet, but I did like this. I have a mini hand cream from Aveda. This is the hand relief, but it's with beautifying. So 
um, beautifying is one of their like kind of I'm not gonna say essential oil because I don't know if it's essential oil but it's like their own aroma blend kind of thing it smells really good um, yeah I really like the smell of their beautifying aroma but uh, I'm not repurchasing this one because I have a lot of other hand creams to go through but if you have very dry skin I think you would like the hand relief from Aveda it's a bit pricey but you use like a really small amount at a time I also have a mini face cleanser from first aid beauty I really liked this um, this was like if you've tried the belief uh, what was that called the I don't remember the exact name but it's their cleanser for dry skin it was kind of like this but I really like this one better um, because I felt like my skin wasn't tight after and it was really um, like non-stripping kind of thing which is good because I have dry skin and all of like first aid beauty products usually say safe for sensitive skin and I think that's true because they're really like gentle so I really did like this one but I just have so many other cleansers that I don't need to buy another one this was a L'Occitane Lavande and Body Soap just what it doesn't say oh cleansing hand wash um this was in my bathroom at my condo yes i brought these products from my condo just to do this video this camera is very high up i don't know if that's better but yeah this was just something because i was obsessed with lavender and it was the vib sale when i bought this because normally i would not buy this it's like 30 something I think it's like 29 something dollars I don't know around there so I don't think it's really worth that price and it's not like you get a huge amount it's 300 ml but still um, for a hand soap like in the bathroom that goes pretty quickly I don't know if it's worth it um, it did smell nice but I mean lavender is not a like hard to find aroma it's in like all kinds of products from the drugstore that are cheaper so I wouldn't repurchase this this is a body shop banana shower cream um, I think I really like this it doesn't smell anymore at all it's pretty <laughs> it's been empty for a long time I remember really liking this though and I think it was moisturizing if I recall um, just, I don't even know where you get Body Shop anymore. I feel like all the stores close down in Quebec. So, I actually got this at Ulta now that I remember in the States. So, if you're in the States, that's where you can get it. But yeah, I really like banana scent, so I did like this. I think I only have this one. Yeah. This is one makeup empty. This is my e.l.f. It's just like a brow gel. There's no name on it. But one side is a brow gel and one is supposedly for your eyelashes. But why would you need a clear gel for your eyelashes? I don't know. So I just use both sides for my eyebrows. And I feel like there's no way I actually use this whole thing because... Um, I have been using it a lot recently, but it was like already going empty a long time ago and I feel like it's kind of like it evaporated. I don't know if that makes sense, but like the product dried up or something. I don't know. And now it's like almost totally empty. I mean, I just, I can't get out anymore because when I take this off, it just like stays in the tube you know what I mean so that's done and this is like super cheap if you are looking for a clear brow gel and you don't want to spend a lot of money then maybe try this one but if it's something you use every day even though this is cheaper I don't think it's worth it because you just go through it so quickly so yeah 
that's my thoughts on that now. I have a Lush jelly face mask. This was Bunny Moon. It was like a white, like pearly jelly mask. Um, I don't like these. I feel like they're hard to use because you're supposed to be able to take like a chunk off and um, rub it in your hands and apply it like a mask. But I don't find like it breaks down. Like it just, the jelly becomes like more jelly pieces. It doesn't become like a cream, which is what I thought it would do. So I don't even know if they have these anymore, but I wouldn't recommend them. I just get like one of their fresh face masks. Then I have the Sephora Glycolic Acid Glow Peel Pads. This is the travel size. These were not good at all. They were so dry. There's like barely any product on the pads. So I was hoping these would be a dupe for my first day beauty ones, which are way overpriced, but unfortunately it isn't. And I actually am using some other ones now that I got in a boxy charm from Elemis, and those are way better than this. So yeah, I'm just, I wouldn't recommend these. Sorry. I really was hoping for better results from those Sephora products because they are like so less expensive um, than other products sold at Sephora, but so far I haven't really liked anything. Um, this is the e.l.f. Hydro Gel Under Eye Masks, uh, the box of them. There was three sets in here. I really liked these a lot. I don't know if they still make these. I feel like I got this in the States, probably at Target. So, but yeah, I really like these. They actually stayed on my eyes and they were super thin. I actually uh, remember I wore these because I had to drive my mom to the airport once. <laughs> and I wore these the whole way there and they were like super fine and um, yeah, they didn't bother me at all. I really like these actually. I would pick them up again if I saw them. I don't remember how much they were, but there was three sets in here, so yeah. Oh, I have another, these things, cleansing pad, uh, not pads, cleansing wipes. This one was from a BoxyCharm. It's the Kojindo cleansing spa water wipes. I was so excited to get these because Kathleen Lights raved about these like before they came in a boxy charm and I was always like, "Oh, I should get What is it? My cat is wanting something. You just ate. You just ate. Anyway, um, yeah, she was raving about these, so I was like, oh, I'm gonna love them because I have dry skin, but I don't remember liking these that much. I feel like they didn't remove my makeup very well. Um, they felt nice, but yeah, I just, I don't think they were worth it. And Kojindo is like a super expensive brand, so... Plus, I'm not buying wipes anymore, so anyway, I wouldn't buy them even if I did like them. So there's that. Oh, and this is another toothpaste. This one I tried, I finished before the Thieves one. This was the Kopari Coconut Oil Charcoal Toothpaste. I think in my last empties, I had the regular version. Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't remember anything special about this. So I guess it wasn't that good. <laughs> Supposedly it was whitening, but I don't remember it being so. And this is expensive for a toothpaste. So I'm not going to repurchase that one. Oh, I have a sponge. Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember why I put this in here. Because it was perfectly fine. This is um, the Sonia Kashuk sponge, by the way. It gets like super huge, but um, something happened and like it got super hard. I don't know, it's kind of gross. I don't know, <laughs> I hope it's not like mold or something. 
But yeah, it just got really hard one day and like even if you wet it, it would stay hard. So yeah, that's why I'm getting rid of that one. Also, I can't get that sponge in Canada because I think it's only at Target or Ulta. So I'm not getting it again and I have other sponges to go through anyway. I think, oh, I did have another makeup empty. I thought honestly that I already showed you this. I guess I didn't. This was my Kat Von D, now known as KVD Vegan Beauty, but when I bought this, it was still Kat Von D. It's the cream concealer, the Locket Cream Concealer. This is another product that just like dried up before I could finish it. It looks like it's still full, but there's like no way to get things um, out of here. Well, there is, but the thing is the formula changed and it doesn't like blend anymore. And I even like took the stopper out if you can tell. So I just got rid of that one. And it wasn't that good anyway. Then the rest is all like skincare minis, it seems. I have the Josie Marin Pure Argan Milk Intensive Hydrating Treatment. I think I remember this was like weird. Like it didn't seem like the formula was mixing together. If I don't know. I don't know. If you guys have tried this, let me know what the consistency was like. Because I feel like this might have been off. It was like goopy. So I tried to mix it in with like um, my moisturizer. But yeah, I used the whole thing. So I guess I liked it somewhat. I don't really remember. Oh, this one I remember liking. This is the Drunk Elephant B Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel, the travel size. I know a lot of people don't like this product and I think it's because it's not that hydrating. It's more like something you put on in the morning, I feel, for me. Because um, it, it was more, yeah, it's a hydration gel, so it was a gel texture. and But I did like how it felt, and it absorbed really nicely into the skin. I remember that, so yeah, I did like this one, but I don't need to repurchase it because I have so many other skincare products to use. Um, and I had this Dr. Jart Water Fuse Ultimate Hydro Gel. This one I remember loving, but when I went to find it on Sephora, it wasn't there. Like it doesn't exist. So I don't know if it's just not in Canada or if it like discontinued, but I got this at Sephora in a Sephora favorite set. So I found it weird that it already didn't exist when I went to find it, but I used this whole thing and I really liked it. This one was also like a gel texture, but it was very hydrating. I recall and then I just have one more thing so it wasn't like a big empties right it just seemed like I had more stuff but this was the Tsubaki no the Bosha Tsubaki Tsubaki I don't know how to pronounce that deep hydration sleeping mask this I used as a moisturizer so even though it's a sleeping mask I use it as a like my night moisturizer and I remember liking this. Um, I think this line has been discontinued though, the Tsubaki, this word here, <laughs> um, because I haven't seen it come to think of it. So yeah, but I did remember liking this one. So yeah, that was it. Now I can throw all this in the recycling. but. I hope you liked this video. I mean, a lot of it was like things you can't buy anyway. At least I can't. So, yeah. But I am definitely picking up this as soon as I can. That's it. So, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!